Hi, welcome back to my channel. So last time I showed you how I started to just sketch out the initial design idea on Tin Canvas. And I wanna start painting, but I can't just start painting. I need to mix my paints first. So I'm gonna put this canvas aside for right now. Um, and I'm going to start, this is actually a, um, more of a watercolor palette, but I love these little circular palettes. I don't know, uh, is the, the shape is just, it's a nice shape and feel to me. Um, and what I wanna do is actually choose a color green that um, represents the fields, the California, the fields out in California where the poppies grow. So I'm gonna start with this, um, Hooker's Green Hue Permanent Color here by Liquidix. I'm starting there, but I want it to be a darker, uh, much darker green hue, and I wanna also um, make it a little bit warm. So I'm adding a little bit of the Mars Black. I very, very rarely use black, but in cases when I wanna get a very dark color, I do use some. And I'm also going to use a little bit of burnt umber. Now I am using the um, Liquidix, their basic acrylic paints. Um, they do have um, a higher level paint that is even thicker than this, but for some reason I just happen to find I really like the texture of this paint and I like how it works on the canvas. Um, but it's that's really a, unique uh, choice it's it's each artist has their own set of paints that they like I just happen to really enjoy these colors let me zoom in here a little bit for you okay so you can see I have this it's it's I'm not sure if you can see this coming through but it's actually a very very dark green um, you have to remember when your paint is still wet it is going to appear lighter than what it actually appears on canvas. Once it goes into canvas and dries, it dries much darker. So to me, you know what, this is just too dark. I, I do want a very dark paint, but not quite that much. So I'm gonna add a um, little more of the Hooker's uh, Green Hue um, permanent paint here to this. Yes, that is what I'm looking for, because I know this is going to probably dry very, very dark, and that's okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, start my next color, which is actually going to be a lighter version of what I just created. So I'm gonna use a lot more green um, for this. And I very rarely use um, the paint directly out of the tube, the color as it is. I usually do mix some colors together. So I am going to have just a tad bit of black and just want to add a little bit of that. And once again, a little bit of the brown umber. And I will move my paints and my hands out of the way here in just a second. Okay, so I want to make a lighter shade of what I just created. And I have just that. Now I'm going to do this one more time. I like to get really get set up with all my paint colors in advance. Uh, for any large areas that I am painting. So what I'm doing here is just, I just added the green right out of the tube and I'm actually going to take directly out of my darkest paint, I'm taking a little bit of that and I'm adding some of that into my green here, which creates my third shade of green. And what I'm gonna do so that I have this all well mixed up because I dipped my paintbrush in it, I'm just going to stir that again. All right, so I have 
several colors of green. Now these, these green colors are just going to be for my background. I will continue to show you my painting progress, but for today I just wanted to show you a quick video on what you can do to mix paint. And in this case, I use the Liquidix Basic Acrylic Hooker's Green Hue Permanent Color. Liquidix Acrylics Basic, the Mars Black. And also Liquidix Basic Acrylic Burnt Umber. All right, so thank you for joining me today. It's a short video but I needed to get this in to show you what I do to get to the next step, and that's to actually put this paint on canvas. Thank you, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel, and if you happen to know someone who might be interested in this, please share it with them. And I look forward to you joining me next time.